let's have a look at how to import a sheet of contacts directly into InTouch. If we go to contacts on the left hand side, then from the options menu on the right, we can choose import contacts. What we want to do is import our contacts by uploading a file. The first step will ask you to confirm your permissions uh, with regards to the opted in nature of your data. As long as your data is OK to use, you can tick your permission and click Next. On the second stage, we can give the upload a name, which will be our internal reference, and choose the file that we want to upload. The file always has to be a CSV file format which you can export from any spreadsheet software. If the file has a header row of labels along the top, tick this box so that it doesn't import them as a contact. Then we'll click Upload File and it'll start the import process. This is the field mapping stage where you choose what the columns in your CSV file are going to be in the system. So under Database Field, this refers to the field within InTouch that you're going to import into. And then it gives you your column header and some example data from that column to the right. So here we can see its first name. So we'll pick that from the database field option for that row. As we continue down, we can select the other instances of data and make sure they're all mapped correctly to the right database fields. Any custom fields that you've created before the import will be accessible at the bottom of the list. Now we can choose our settings for the import such as duplicate processing. If you would like to exclude duplicates so that the import doesn't bring in anybody that already exists in the system, then select ignore. And there are two options for identifying the duplicates, either by email address, which we've mapped here, or by contact ID if the CSV has previously been exported from InTouch. If we were to choose Update instead and use the email address option to identify the duplicates, we'll update the records, the new information that you're importing here. This feature is useful if you want to send in some additional data, like a custom field, bulk. To group options, we can choose to add all of these contacts into an existing group or pick a new one. Organization link allows you to link the company name, your import file, to an organization if it already exists in your InTouch database. If we've made all of our settings, we'll click the blue import file button and the import is complete. It can take five to 10 minutes to process the import and you can choose to be notified by email address once it's completed. If we return to the import contact screen, you can see that our latest import is being processed. I'll update once it's completed. Once it's completed, the status changes to processed and it'll tell us how many successful records were imported. And by going to contact groups, we can see that the new group has been created and all of the contacts have been added in.